Hi, my name is Joshua from Greater Than Gatsby. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply one of our transparent cloud overlays to an image with a blown out sky. Now this image that we're going to use today is completely unedited and I prefer to start that way so all the future enhancements can be done with the cloud so the image shares the same tone. Now I'm going to come up here to the cloud applicator that's included in your digital download. When I press play, a pop-up box is going to notify me that after I click continue my documents are going to appear and you want to navigate to the place where you saved your cloud overlays. So I'm going to select cloud overlay 10, press play, and just so I've got more room, I'm going to make this a little smaller. So you can place this overlay anywhere you want to. Stretch the borders and then bring it up here. Get rid of some of that sky. I like it there. So I'll double click. Now this box is just letting me know that a layer mask has been created and I need to use a black brush to wipe off the excess overlay. I'm going to switch my foreground color to black. Put my brush opacity at 100%. And then I'm going to zoom back in. So I usually start by making a perimeter, and I'm going to go really quick here, so it's not going to be as clean as I might usually make it. But I'm just going to go around everything that's not the sky. And like I said, I'm going quick here, so my edges might not be perfect, but I'll go back and clean them up. Alright, now I'll enlarge my brush a little bit and get rid of the rest of this. And I might take one more quick pass back at this just to clean it up a little bit more. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, one thing that you might notice on a regular sky, around the horizon line, it's usually a little bit wider. So what I'm going to do is increase my brush size, bring this down to, say, 18%. And I'm just going to kind of brush along here and take some of this cloud overlay out. It just helps it blend with your image a little bit better. And then since this guy up here is so blue, it doesn't quite fit in with the gloomy mood that looks like is happening here. So I'm just going to brush a little of this blue out as well. And then reduce the opacity to where it blends naturally. You don't want this to stand out so much that you can tell the sky didn't belong. But I think I like it right here at 79%. So you can see the before and then with the sky the before and with the sky now once you have applied the cloud overlay you can run additional actions but before you do I would suggest flattening your image thanks for checking out our video and if you would like to purchase our transparent cloud overlays you can find them at greaterthangatsby.com